It's estimated that 4.7 million new businesses are created in the United States each year. You may be one of those individuals starting a business this year and are looking for ways to protect your business activities from liability. One of the best ways is an LLC, a limited liability company. And if you're one of those individuals looking to create an LLC, before you jump into something, you may want to look at all the facts at starting an LLC. If you go to your local library and you look up the law check information on creating an LLC or the article on creating an LLC by law check, you can download a worksheet or a LLC information sheet that will help guide you in putting together the information that you will need to create an LLC. Hello, my name is Vincent Punt, Vice President of Laws Online, the national database of legal professionals. And this is not a substitute for legal advice. We always, always recommend that you get local. You find an attorney who is close to you who can help you in creating a company or an LLC. An attorney has the experience to do something in this nature. And it is always recommend that you seek legal counsel near you to be the best fit for your situation. If you get a chance to go to your local library and you download that LLC information sheet and look at that LLC article, which has some helpful links on what you would need to create an LLC, we're going to go through the worksheet and actually give you a guide on what information would be needed if you decide to create an LLC. It's always good to plan ahead so that way you have everything in order when you do decide to go to your attorney or a legal professional and make that attempt to begin registering your LLC or creating a corporation. Whichever you path you decide, you will want to go through and evaluate first what makes the best sense. So after you've downloaded that LLC information sheet, let's go ahead and take a look at it. It's quick, it's easy, it's two pages, and it'll help give you the guides that you need and what an LLC is going to uh, need. So the very first thing on the LLC information sheet as you downloaded that is the name of your business, the name of your company. Well, the name of your company, because if you're doing an LLC, you need to end the company in the suffix in an LLC. Now you can spell it out, limited liability company, or you can put LLC. It is up to you, but you need to have that suffix at the end of your company name. So for instance, we're going to put in our company, find John Doe LLC. John Doe is creating a company where he does research for individuals and he finds hard to get to information. So the name of this individual corporation is Find John Doe LLC. We created a unique name so that way this name would not be in conflict with other LLC names in the state that we reside in. That is one cautionary tale when creating an LLC is that you need to make sure your name is unique and does not conflict with a pre-existing LLC company. Again, there are helpful links on that law check site at your local library that you can go to your state and you can look at the procedure for finding a name. Now, after we've named the organization with this unique name, we want to put the address up. LLC, you need to have an address in that state. Most states require that. So here we're going to put the address of where the business is located. We're going to put in the 331st Street, Southeast, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Uh, then put the zip code 52402. It's not hard, but you're going to need an address, a physical presence for your LLC in the state that you're going to be looking at creating and registering an LLC. Next, we're going to put some contact information, and this contact information is more important for your legal professional who you may go to to help create the LLC. We're going to put the phone number as 1-800-529-5121, and we're going to put an email of the help desk at lawcheck.net, and that's just the informational email. 
Next, number two on the LLC information sheet is a registered agent, the person who is going to be responsible for receiving legal documentation. This registered agent is something that you want to outline here first. You may put one name down for registered agent and then later decide after discussions with other individuals who are you're going into business with that this may not be the right party. But in this particular case, John Doe has a single business and he's going to put himself down as a registered agent. So John Doe is going to put his name there. He's going to put his address again with the same place at 331st Street, Southeast, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, 52402. And then we're going to, again, put our phone number, 1-800-529-5121, and then the email help desk at lawcheck.net. A registered agent is required in the state that you register your business in. And the reason for it is the registered agent is the physical individual person who is willing to receive legal documentation. You have to have a person as a registered agent or a already pre-existing organization act as your registered agent. But you have to have a registered agent, a party to actually take the legal documents of the organization in the state for that legal information. Number three, certificate of incorporation. Now, this is information that we're going to gather because uh, whether you have the Articles of Incorporation or Certificate of Corporation, depends on what your state is calling it. That's up to the state. We're just calling it Certificate here. It may be called Articles. This is the information that's going to be usually gathered on the uh, state forms that you usually fill out to create your LLC. You're going to start out with your company name. And is it the same as above? We're, par parting, we're marking yes. If it's not, we would go ahead and put a different address of where the company is located. Next, we have the registered agent. Is it same as above or are we using somebody different? We're using the same one as above. So those are both marked yes. Company purpose. And this one's to build uh, uh, databases with uh, information that for research on hard to get to uh, people. And so something that you would put in there that would describe what your business is going to be about. Next duration of the organization and the effective date is when you start it. So the date you're actually registering with the state, you'd put that in there. We're going to put this in as September 5th, 2024. And then the effective date the organization ended. If you had a date that the organization was planning, if you were, had a limited time for the company, then you would put that date in. Otherwise, if it's going to be perpetual, you leave it blank. Next, the management of the organization. And this is important. And this is why outlining what you're planning to do with your business is important before you actually go through the process of registering. You have a choice. Is this LLC going to be member managed or is it going to be manager managed? If you're member managed, that means it's one of the members or owners of the LLC. If it's going to be manager managed, then that means you're hiring a third party to help manage the LLC. In this case, we're going to have it as one of the members, so it's uh, member managed. Number four, owners of the LLC organization. The information that we're gathering here is not just helpful for the registration, but it's more important as we get into the government and federal regulations that you will need to fulfill on the beneficial ownership information. So this will have uh, several purposes, number four. So we're going to put John Doe as one of the owners of this organization, and we're going to put his address, and we're also putting his birthday. That birthday will become important for some of the federal requirements if you're registering an LLC. And then the second person we're going to put in here is Bob Blank. And he's at 4211 Glass Road, Northeast, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And both Bob and John are going to be at 50% each in this particular LLC. And his birth date, we're going to put that in there too. You've completed the first page of your LLC, which helps outline and gives you a guide. Now, on page two of this LLC information sheet, it's going to help give you a guide on things that you're going to need to do to make this effective. First, you're going to need to get an operational agreement. 
it's highly recommended you get an operational agreement to manage the LLC on its day-to-day -day activities, what the ownership means, if some, one of the owners wants to sell their, their percentage of it, how you go about doing that. It should all be outlined in your ownership or operational agreement. You can see a sample of an operational agreement if you again go to your local library and you look at the law check information on LLCs, there should be a sample there of an operational agreement. Again, that's something you could take to your legal professional and ask them to help uh, outline it and actually help them structure the operational agreement so it's sound for your particular LLC purposes. Again, you can take a sample of that from your local library under law check forms. Number six, filing with the state. In order to activate your organization, you may need to file with the state you reside in. And again, the business has to reside within the state that you're registering. Many states, it's the Secretary of State's office. You need to check again with the links on the law check information to see if that's consistent. And it's still with the Secretary of State or another uh, area that you would actually register with. You'll go through and you'll check yes or no once you've completed that. And again, you want to outline this first before you take that step. Second, once you've created your LLC, you're going to need to get a tax ID with the IRS, the IRS EIN number, the employer identification number. You will need to register this for your LLC. This will allow your LLC to have its own unique identifier for taxing purposes. This will be separate from your social security number and you want a unique identifier with your LLC or its own uh, tax number. And this will allow you to contract and provide services to third parties using this new LLC tax identifier. It'll also allow you to hire new employees and use this EIN number or this tax identifier number for your LLC. So it is a standalone entity separate from you. And that, again, helps in providing the liability protection. C, under number six, 6C, state tax ID. Again, if you're planning to pay employees or hire individuals, you're going to want a state tax ID as well as a federal tax ID. Creating an LLC is more or less to prevent liability from your business activities. It is not built to prevent you from being taxed individually. That's not what an LLC is for. An LLC is a pass-through, so you will end up being taxed on that. Under number six, state and federal filings, you are now required to register your company, your LLC, with the federal government. And you can see a helpful video again at the law check, uh, underneath the law check information at your local library. There's a video that goes through the beneficial ownership information. And that is actually a walkthrough on uh, working with the, the um, FinCEN, F-I-N-C-E-N.gov, and you can see that video. But you will need, when you go through that process, driver's license for both parties or as many parties that are in there. You'll need some form of ID, and you're going to need the birthdays. That's why we gathered the birthdays on the first page was to make sure you had it ready to go for the beneficial ownership information. Um, number E, other requirements depend on your individual situation and what you decide to do with your LLC. And so one reason we will always recommend you do this sheet first um, is so you can outline before you begin any registrations, before the clock starts ticking on the beneficial ownership information, you have a game plan in place to create your LLC. You can also take this sheet to your local legal counsel. You can go over it with your legal counsel to make sure you're getting it right and you're doing it correctly. It is worth the time to outline what you're planning to do in an LLC before you leap into something. As they say, look before you leap. And this is a good example of going to your local library, gathering as much information about an LLC, going to the law check forms, downloading an LLC information sheet, and outlining what you want to do for your business before you begin the registration. That way, the clock does not start ticking until you're 100% sure you've made the right decision. Thank you very much for watching this video, and we wish you the best day and good luck with your LLC and always find legal support for helping you get it started.